Right, hey guys, um, I thought I'd make a quick video explaining just how to um, install a vehicle mod onto a server. So, as quite a few of you get a bit confused about this, um, my other video, which was this one here, adding mods to your Nitrado DZ server, this shows you how to do basic mods and things and how to set up um, this here, which is WinSCP. Um, and this is all the server details uh, it shows you how to access your workshop folder so if, if you need to know that at any time just come back and watch this other video of mine okay as I just explained the two windows we have open are the workshop folder and the server so if it's your server you're running from your own computer this will just be another folder with your, uh, with your, your information in here so let's find an appropriate mod that we want to install uh, a vehicle I'm going to choose the Land Rover Defender because I think that's a great mod. So first of all what you want to do is drag it over to your server. Now at this point it doesn't matter if the server is running or not, you just um you're just adding it to uh you're just adding it over to the server side of things. It's not going to interrupt anything, so you don't need to worry about that. In the meantime, what we can do is look in this uh, in this mod folder. We can see we've got uh, these options here. So that is to do with the uh, that's to do with the files in the actual server. So we don't touch them; we leave them alone. That's pointed to in a minute. I'll show you when. Um, and we've got the keys folder. Now, what we do need to do is we need to copy what's in the keys folder across to the keys folder in your server. Uh, I'll just wait for this to be done, and I'll show you where that is almost there yeah so that's that's gone in there just there so our keys folder in our server is just here let's go into that and we need to go into the keys folder from our workshop and copy that one over there we go so that will allow the uh, mod to work on the server another folder we have in this uh, Land Rover Defenders mod folder is the XMLs so if you go in here, you can see we have the types, the events, the spawnable types, and the event spawns. Now what we need to do with each of them is add them um, to the ones on the server. Now what you can see with this message, this this uh, this mod creator has done very cleverly, is this is not a replace. This is XMLs for it. Basically what that means is you do not replace your current types with this. Let me show you why. So to find our types, we go to our missions folder, MP missions, and then go on the uh, server map that you're running. So this is Chernerus, this is um, uh, Livonia, and this one is Namalsk. So I'm going to ring Namalsk here, so I'll go in here. Um, this is where some of the XMLs are, like we can see spawnable types and event spawns, and the rest of them will be in DB folder so here we have types if we open up this types we can see that it's it's pretty 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 big file really for a, for a text file scroll down there's loads and loads of stuff partly because I've added some mods but most of it is there anyway whereas and if we go to this one up here this is the reason why we don't want to replace this with this there is that much so there's there's still a fair amount in there but there's 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 not a huge amount so what we actually need to do is we need to copy over all of this information in here so get that copy that and then go to the types from the server I like to scroll all the way to the bottom of this and what you want to do is put it after this type here so back forward slash uh, type but before the forward slash types so click there hit enter and there you can see we've got it before this one but after this one and you paste it in there and now we can see we've got all the bits of the Land Rover in here um, so scroll back up make sure that's in the right place um, where are we? There we go. Look, 
So that's something from the previous mod. And then we've got the Land Rover in there. Perfect. So then we save that. And then close that. So that's the types done. And we can close this one as well. And now all we do is we do the same with the other ones. So events. Go to events. Here's all the events. Scroll to uh, the bottom. Make sure you put it in the right space. So before forward slash events, but after forward slash event. And open up our events here. And we've only got one this time, the Land Rover event. So it'll spawn in 25 Land Rovers this. You can change this value to uh, change the amount you're going to spawn in. And the minimum needs to be below it, and the maximum needs to be uh, either the same or, or above it. Um, and here we have min and max, and these will spawn a particular type. So this particular mod has three different versions of the Land Rover. We've got the normal one, we've got the green one, and we've got the EU United, blah, blah, blah. We've got the UN one, let's just say the UN one. <laughs> um, so if you change these numbers, it'll change the amount that spawns. Um, I have another video actually that explains um, a lot about all the XML files and you can find this file in there so if you want to know more about this information you can watch that. So we copy that over into here, paste that in there, there we go, I've got the event in there. One thing I did forget to mention previously actually was if you go into the uh, Land Rover folder there is a little mistake in here, so you go in the XMLs and then in the events We've got this here, this is the events. If you're going to put this in the events folder and it's going to register, you're going to need to add the word vehicle before this. Otherwise, it won't spawn in. Um, any vehicle, whether that's a helicopter or a car, needs the word vehicle before it to register. Otherwise, you, it won't actually spawn in. This also applies to the um, CFG event spawns. So go in the CFG event spawns and you'll need to change that to vehicle Land Rover Defender because that needs to be the same name as the one from the events. The spawnable types, this can be found in one folder back. So here we are, look, spawnable types. So that's the server one and this is the mod one. So we need to add the mod one to the server one. Don't worry about this message here. This is this is this yellow message here. This is just for uh, this is just for the editor I use. It's telling me that the file isn't complete, and I know that. Okay, so scroll to the bottom of this. Yeah. After forward slash types, but before spawnable types. So we need a gap there, and then we copy all of this all the way down to the bottom, and then paste it in there. Okay, so we've got the UN and the green one and the normal one. There we go, perfect. And save that. Close those two. And finally, event spawns. You probably get the idea by now. So event spawns, this is one that you could customize as well. So scroll to the bottom. After event and copy this over. So this is all the areas that it's going to spawn. Now for me, because I'm not using the Chernus map, I don't want to use these because these are defaulted locations on a map for Chernus. So what you would do if you had Chernus is you paste it in there. You go right click, paste, and that would have all your positions for all the spawn points. But if you don't have Chernus, what you're going to want to do is find your own spawn points. So you delete all the positions but keep the rest of the information. So you probably end up with something like um, you end up with something like this. So you'd have the this this is now the size of the event. Tiny isn't it? Um, so that's one spawn point. And now to be able to find your own spawn points what you can do is you can open up I survive map. So go into Google just type what oh, I've got there, look, I survive. Now come up with a map. 
And you can hear, see here, you've got the Chernerus, and you've got Livonia, you've got Deer Oil, Namalsk. So I went Namalsk. And all you've got to do is go to the area you want to spawn in. So say you want to put one at the harbour down here. You just mouse over where you, where you want to put it, uh, maybe there in the woods. You can see the coordinates are down here, look, just above the advert here. This, these numbers here are the coordinates. You need to make sure your mouse is in the correct place. And once you have that, you simply post in the X axis and the Z axis. Now, the A axis is actually the rotation. So if you want to figure out the rotation, what you might want to do is actually go into the server and use something like Community Online Tools to figure that out. Um, I'll show you I'll show you that now actually. Okay, here we are. We've loaded into the server. I'm standing on the uh frosty plains of Nemelsk, as you can see the ice over there. Um so community online tools. I might make another video at some point explaining how to install this, but if you have some sort of admin panel, the chances are there'll be a way to view your uh, location. For this one you go in player management click on your name which for me is Hepsky and then this here under teleporting will be your current location so you've got the X Y and the Z so uh, all those will be your coordinates that you can use um, and that should get a few the correct the rotation as well okay and um, once you've written down the coordinates you want so say I'm gonna have uh, let, me, let me let me write this down. So if I get a notepad up, I'm going to want my coordinates for that area just there. So let's say we want seven six three four point nine nine and seven five five one point three eight. Okay. So now we've got our coordinate. We can close that down. Now we come back into our um, our event spawns. As you can see, you've got all these coordinates for all the other things. This is the event we added in just here. So we want our X position, which was the first one we copied. Put that in there. And our Z position, which was the second one we copied. And put that in there. And for now, I'm going to leave the rotation the same. Um, but that is essentially 275 degrees. Um, yeah. And then you save that. And obviously you can add as many of these as you want. You just copy and paste that line there and change the values. And you can have that many different locations for the spawn of the Land Rovers. I suggest you have um, as many locations as you have vehicle spawning, at least. I like to have are double the amount of locations as you can see here there's there's a lot of locations for the uh, for the snowmobiles so then you close these down so we've now um, sorted out all of these XML files yeah so now we only have one step left to do really which is enable the mod on the server uh, for uh, me it's via Nitrado go on Nitrado.net and select the server we want to do open that up just in case you missed that, you go on the server and click these little cogs here. You should know this if you're running a server. And then you stop the server. Like that. And this will shut the server down. Uh, and then you can go to um, general settings, I believe. Yep. And then as long as you've got expert mode enabled, you can scroll down. These are the mods I currently have on the server. Now to add the next mod, all you're going to want to do is go in your workshop folder and find the mod. And we want to copy this text here. So if we right click and push rename, but make sure you don't type anything, hit control C or you can right click copy. And then you can come in here in the server page now you want to go and put a semicolon there and then right click paste and that will ensure 
the wording of that is exactly the same as the one you've got on the server. So once that's done, you hit save changes. And then that's logged that as being on the server now. And then all you've got to do is start the server. Um, and Land Rovers should start spawning on there. Um, yeah, and that, sh that should be it really. Now, if you want to have um, vehicles on the server but not randomly spawning in, you know, you just want to be able to spawn them in with the admin without them without them being all over the place, all you need to do is add the types here. If you add, add the types in, that will uh, that will make sure that they keep spawning on the server. Um, so these three are for if you want them to spawn in your server. And this one is if you want it to persist on the server. So by persist, I mean um, have it there after you've logged out. So if you log out and log back in, it should still be there. Something you might find is that you can't find the information you're looking for. So you might be able to be, not be able to find the types or the event spawns or something like that um, for a particular mod. So what you can do is you can look actually in the description to start with and see if they have anything. So this has got a list of all the uh, all the cars they have in here. If we keep going, popular discussions, we can see XML files. Let's have a look at that. Um, here we go, types to XML, thanks to Helkiana. What a good old girl. Um, so they have made a types file. So if we click on that, continue to the external site. Helkiana's been a really good gal and made types for all of these cars. So instead of using the XML that were in the folder, we would use these types because it's the only option we have. Um, so yeah, any information that you can't find, it's always worth looking at the workshop page, first in the description, then in the discussions and the comments. Um, and that is it really, that's that's how you install uh, the Land Rover mod on your server. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to get me on uh, Septic Falcons Discord, I'll put a link in the description. Cheers.